Yeah, maybe you could pick up from here. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Because this uh, this training, I mean, this would have been so amazingly beneficial for Don and well for Tony when he started, and uh, and um, it, it might be something that he would want a refresher. You know, Tony and Don. You know. Well, take a look at our YouTube channel. I did a series of videos on a lot of this stuff. That yes, yeah, very good videos, Bob. Very good. I know, I know uh, that's how Tony was, was getting by. Uh, but I guess th this is just so convenient for a refresher if you ever needed one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, as we move down the road and this COVID stuff, you know, loosens up, I have no issues coming in and, and spending time with you in your office there. Yeah. You're, you're not too okay. far away. And when you, when you get there, you can pick up those Teflon coated actuators that Winston volunteered. That's right. There you go. Good reminder, Chris. Make sure you invoice it to Jerry Fanner. Though. So, install your mounting kit. Now you have, uh, this is how you have to go about when you want to do EX or IS and put, uh, uh, feedback on the EX or IS unit. And then depending on your manufacturing, you know, then your, your calibration you know, changes depending on who you're using. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to show. Yeah, I Any think questions, anybody? That was that was all we had really for today. I mean, I, I, as we thought it, this was going to go more than an hour. You know, the next thing we can talk about is our digital units, the, the D500. And we can talk about when we want to do that if we want to wait a couple weeks to do that. But I guess before we cl close, do you guys have any questions? Maybe that popped up. Well, the only thing I'd like to add is uh, maybe maybe when that mounting kit comes in, uh, we could do a little thing on the diaphragm valve because uh, that was kind of the one that I'm still still kind of oblivious to how it mounts on there and works. So well, um, for that, we'll definitely bring in Tony to participate and Don because they've done that and in case they need a little guidance but you guys actually provided some really great paperwork the last time around and it made it really easy to install yeah that was the benefit of actually getting the valve in house and being able to actually have it in my hands that way I could take photos and do some, right. at least get a good manual instead of just you know getting sending me a box full of parts yeah so and so luckily this the, the one we have now is going to be very similar it's a real short stroke so it's pretty it's really critical on the setup um the other ones you get you can get by a little more the more stroke you have the little more uh, uh leeway you have in your mounting but on the short stroke valve that i have here now this the current one it's going to be pretty critical that it gets set up just spot on to make sure we can get it to, to work properly so but once we get in, yeah, Winston, once we get in, in um, once I get that bracket in, we'll, we'll get together, um, contact you, and we'll get something together, and we'll just do another one of these with that particular valve. Yeah, and hopefully my Wi-Fi and my headphones will work <laughs> this time. So, uh, yeah. uh, I... we, we understand, we understand <laughs> the difficulties too well. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all these kids at home playing Xbox and streaming. It's got my <laughs> bandwidth bogged down. <laughs> yes, for sure. So, Randy, thank you very much. I know. Yes, thank you. Guys. Thank you. Appreciate your business. And uh, you guys, if, if any question comes up, feel free to give me a buzz. Um, no problem at all. Okay. I'll well done, Scott. Follow. All right, man. We're all available. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> all right. Take care, Bye, gentlemen. Guys. Thanks, Bye -bye. guys. Take care. Be Bye. safe. Bye.